So moving on to the last exercise we'll be covering here. This one is called the Dolly Edison method. And this actually is a bit more into the book, but I wanted to put it here because I wanted to keep our um, all our exercises close together. With that said, though, there's some stuff that I skipped over, so I'll recap it here really quick for you. So when you're tapping into these liminal states or hypnagogia in particular for this method, or even like the dreaming mind, right, lucid dreaming stuff, you're stepping outside of your conscious awareness's normal realm into like the subconscious area, yeah? And there's a lot of cr uh, creative potential there. So that's basically how they would use it, you know, Salvador Dali for like, artistic inspiration or Thomas Edison for problem solving some of his inventions or whatnot. So they would go down into hypnagogia with like a particular thing in mind they were trying to find a, a creative solution to. With that said though, there is, well, there is one really good thing with this approach and then there's one like pretty kind of bad thing with it. So the good part is if you're having a hard time staying lucidly aware and getting to stage one of sleep where this true hypnagogia is and you just keep falling asleep, this approach will guarantee you get there. The problem is, though, you only will be there like super momentarily, as you'll soon find out when we go through this method. So how do you do it? Sit in a chair, in a comfortable chair, kind of reclined a little bit because you do want to, you know, drift into sleep. Hold on to something in your hand that will clatter loudly when you drop it. So, you know, she has a good recommendation in here of like a handful of change. You could even put like a metal plate underneath your hand so it's a bit louder when you drop it. Keep something next to you to record your idea or, you know, the answers that come to you. You could even keep, like, your phone and then just dictate into it. Drift into hypnagogia. When you drop the shit and you get, and you get startled awake, um, see what kind of answer your subconscious mind served up.